Samuel Lee Gravely Jr. was the first African-American officer to command a U.S. Navy warship and a U.S. Navy fleet, as well as the first African-American Vice Admiral. Gravely was born in 1922 in Richmond, Virginia. He attended Virginia Union University for three years, but left to join the Navy Reserve in 1942. He went on to attend the Navy College Training Program at the University of California, Los Angeles, and the Midshipman School at Columbia University, becoming one of the first African-American officers in the Navy. He was assigned as the only black officer to the USS PC-1264, one of only two World War II naval ships with a predominantly black crew. The Navy used both of these ships to evaluate the ability of African-American service members to perform regular naval duties. After World War II, Gravely was released from active duty service, though he remained in the Navy Reserve. After President Truman ordered the integration of the military in 1948, Gravely was recalled to active duty and assigned as a Navy recruiter in Washington, D.C. in an effort to recruit more African Americans to the military. Gravely remained in the Navy for the next 38 years, going on to command the USS Theodore E. Chandler and the U.S. Navy's Third Fleet. Gravely played key roles in integrating the Navy, first as a recruitment officer and later as an effective and respected Naval commander. He is buried here in Section 66.